Hey TV Doodlers, how are you doing? I think this has been one of the hardest drawings of mine to do. I have been sketching and sketching and sketching. I've been sketching in my sketchbooks. But I think I've come up with a fairly easy way to show you how to draw a milk jug. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. You are going to need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. Don't press hard, that makes it really difficult for yourself. And what we want to do is draw an ellipse, which is a really difficult thing to draw. So <laughs> we'll start off by drawing kind of like an eye shape like that. And then you could maybe ooh, take it out a little bit and then just sort of curve it at the edges a little bit. And then a milk jug is just not quite straight down the sides, is it? You want it just coming out at a bit of an angle. Make those two lines equidistant. And then we can draw another curve at the bottom, which is like the bottom half of an ellipse. Okay. And we'll make sure we know which is the actual edge of that ellipse that we want there. And then we're going to have a thickness to this because it's made out of clay. So porcelain or something like that. And so we need to draw another line just inside it like that. We're going to take this curve and then we come off at a tangent, as we say in geometry, and we're going to come forwards a little bit like that. And then we want to draw like a triangle coming back down to this line down there. And then we want just the tiniest, it's almost like a little, little flick at the bottom. That's going to go up and it's going to join that top inner line there like that. So that will then come around there. If you're going to put some milk in there, that's going to be round about there. Okay, and that wants to echo that curve. And then let's pencil in where this handle is going to go. So just come around a little bit there. And then we want to, it's like an ear, isn't it, on the side. And then basically we're going kind of like that and like that. Okay, so it's kind of like a cross at the top, but then you want it to curve inside as well. Come and join me on Patreon for images, help sheets, advice, and a whole lot more, and learn how to paint this in watercolour. Now, take your time, and I'm gonna start from right at this point where the upline meets the ellipse at the top. And here we can just come curving slightly and around and come all the way down to the bottom. Bring that all the way down to the bottom too. And now we can join those two up, that curve at the bottom there like that. And here you need this kind of, just a little hook, tiny little hook. And then we're gonna come around on that inner curve and bring that around and just let it dot <laughs> into nothingness there. And here again, we're going to want to have a line that's going to kind of dot away there and it'll dot away there. Put in the line of your milk and we'll draw that curve around there. And then that curve coming around there like that. I'll just straighten that up in the camera. And when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase all those pencil lines because you didn't press too hard, did you? <laughs> now here, we're gonna to want to kind of echo this curve and just do some little bits of shading there like that. And again, here we want to echo this curve and do some bits of shading, just curving around like that. We also want to kind of show that there is a thickness on this edge here as well. So start a little bit away from it, start about there, and then just let that dot away. And similarly, we're gonna come around there and dot away there, and then a little bits down there. And then we can just let these fade away. Don't let it go right to the edge of the line. Leave a little bit of space there because the light is shining down here, which means that we're going to get shadow coming on the ground here. So that's the whole jug is kind of creating that big shadow there. But there's also ambient light, which is kind of reflecting up off the table and it's, it's, it's illuminating these kind of edges. So don't go right to the edge. And again, 
here and we can just make these things just kind of fade away and we can help give us feeling of the curve here by doing something like that but just let it fade away and you might want to put something else there and for the handle we're going to go like that just let it fade away there and we're going to bring that curve around there and here we want these to be quite thick and these are going to get thinner as it comes up to the edge like that and then you can put the edge of the table in about there like that just to put it on the table and there you go how to draw a milk jug if you'd like to color this in watercolor as i said come and join me on patreon make sure you are subscribed to the shoe rainer drawing channel and keep coming back for lots more drawing every week and in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye